I just saw the recent new logo. I would love to know what, what is that whole cut about, which is diagonally. So I did see the visual eraser kind of cuts through the company, but why just company? Why not Bombay? What, what is everyone to ask this question. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point, right? So I, <laughs> I myself, I'm a lot into psychology, and I love visual branding, psychology of brands. So that's an area I focus, and I would love to know why you wanted to cut it through company. Why not shaving? Or why not? <laughs> there are two, three things. I think one is it is big, bold. It's challenger. It's outlaw. It's rebellious. Yeah. Right. Um, people. Okay. So this might get into a little bit of a psychological discussion because because you have. Yes. But people who want to stand out have, and I say this in a very positive way, have self mutilating tendencies. Okay. Piercings and tattoos. Right. Yeah. They want to stand out. They are outlaws. They are rebels. Like I have tattoos. It is it is a mutilating. Thing. Cutting the company is a self mutilating thing. To be a challenger and an outlaw, it shows. How much we are willing to give up to actually win, to stand wow. out, to be someone the consumer identifies with. That's what this brand is about. Also, Bombay Shaving Company in verbal conversations between our distributors, our teams, our offline teams, our Amazon relationship, everywhere, we don't call ourselves Bombay Shaving Company anymore. Yeah. It's Bombay Shaving. Yeah. I am from Bombay Shaving. Shantanu, my friend, is from Bombay Shaving. Deepak is the co-founder of Bombay Shaving. Right? People don't say the whole way. People yeah. like short form everything, right? So these two things. Uh, but I think the brand identity is uh, is one that has to stand. So you will have a lot of consumers who may not also like it, right? Mm -hmm. So, but that's fine. Thank um, you. Also, 